my channel. So today I'm showing you how I made my pumpkin pom-pom garland, which I have on my staircase. I made this this morning, really, really happy with how it's turned out. And I thought I'd bring it to you today in my fry DIY. So if you didn't already know, I'm doing a DIY on a Friday all the way throughout kind of October, November and December. From November, I'm gonna be starting on um, Christmas DIYs, but until then I'm doing a Halloween one. So today's video, I've actually made a pom-pom pumpkin garland, like I said, so I've shown you how I made the pom-pom garland base to begin with all of the information or where like, I got all the supplies and like that will be down in the description so I'll show you how I made the base and I've actually made some like little pumpkin ornaments which are removable stuff showing you how I made those um because I do want to use the base in a Christmas DIY as well so yeah it's just gonna be like interchangeable so if you like this one hopefully you do but it's also coming for Christmas I do want to ask a little bit of feedback before I get started though do you like these videos where you've got like one DIY like craft kind of thing going on like around about the 15 minute mark or would you prefer a longer one because I did have another DIY to film today it's still going to be coming just I'm going to put it in a separate video probably the next video coming but I didn't know whether to like put them together and then make the video really super long because this one here is already around about 15 minutes because we all know I like to chat I like to craft and chat with you guys I just I can't help it I'm sorry I get so many complaints that I talk to you much but I just genuinely love to have a chat with people I just I would like your feedback on that do you like multiple DIYs in one video kind of like the one I did on my last Friday DIY or do you like it like this one where I've done one DIY on the Friday and then like a little bit throughout the week or something like that I don't know just just let me know what you think um so yeah without further ado just gonna get straight on into it oh before I do my jumper by the way is from Zara it's new in um I absolutely love it it's got these big giant sleeves on look kind of like candy floss or bubble gum or something I just love it just thought I'd like you know usually I only buy like second hand vintage clothes but I saw this I needed it and I bought it and zero regrets because I'm living my best life in my pink jumper so yeah I'm just gonna get stuck straight on into the DIY that I started this morning so for my first DIY today I'm gonna be making a pom-pom garland just because I've wanted one of these for so long I wanted one to like you know the felt pom-poms so I ordered some of eBay and they've just arrived and they come in this little bag and I ordered two different colours so I ordered an ivory and one called vanilla because I wanted it to kind of be an off beige and it's come out the perfect colour so these are the two colour balls do you see them <laughs> I absolutely love them now these were a bit pricey I'm not going to lie to you but I think it's a firm investment and the way that I'm going to be DIYing this is so that I'm going to be able to use it for Halloween and like autumn as well as Christmas I'm going to make the ornaments interchangeable well I hope so the first things first is just to kind of attach these all together just to make the garland kind of fit where we're going to attach the ornaments onto so I want to do alternating colours so like obviously one of the beige or one of the kind of like off white and I've got this embroidery floss here which I thought was a really nice colour so I have a big bag of these um all different colours but I thought this matched really nicely with the two kind of tones that a nice natural kind of base so my idea is whether or not this is going to work um, I just picked up this giant needle from my sewing kit get this out so this is a doll making needle it's a 14 centimeter needle i do believe not about that right 14 either 14 or 19 i don't know i use both um so yeah i'm gonna be using this with this on it and hopefully it's gonna thread through these balls i haven't tested it yet but i think it should um so yeah let's just get crafting shall we so i'll unwrap this thread it through the needle and then just start threading the kind of pom-poms onto this well that's the plan anyway fingers crossed it's going to work um i did like i say get these pom-poms from ebay um this here is number 612 by the way um i don't know the brand it hasn't got a brand on it but 612 if you ever get in an embroidery floss mess and find this one that's the shade um yeah so i got them off ebay um i will leave the sellers kind of link down below i did ask them if i could do that i usually ask individual sellers like whether or not they want me to share their shop name because some people obviously don't um and they were fine about it so yeah i will leave their individual shop down below let's start with this one so i like threaded on the embroidery floss the needle's going through okay there we go right through the center and it pulls on so that's fine look at that Oh, one down, about 70 more to go. <laughs> Here I go. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling. On the ghost, we stand on the 
opposite shore. Hello, Mona. I reach through. So I've got them all stringed on now, but I kind of feel like they look like those like wooden bees that people use for decor pieces, which I don't really like that vibe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it off on this end, which is where the needle was, just because I've got so much excess kind of thread on the other side. And I'm just going to kind of space the little pom-poms apart a bit, probably about an inch, like around about the same kind of size that they are, just to kind of um, make them look more pom-pom garlandy. Roman, stop licking the couch. Yeah, <laughs> that's disgusting. So, um, if I measure this out, say with, yeah, a finger's width. I'm going to use a finger's width. That's probably like a centimetre. So I can just do this and then make sure they're evenly kind of spaced. So if I just pull them down the thread on this side. So what I did, I didn't actually cut the thread. And that's tangled there, is it? Um, so that I was able to manoeuvre them around afterwards so that, yeah, I can space them apart. See, like, already they look quite, like, pom pom -y as opposed to like DD, do you know what I mean? It probably makes no sense, but I think I just like that look better. So I'm just gonna like pinch them until I'm happy with it. All right, all spread out. <laughs> it's so long, um, but hey, I have a kind of like idea of where I wanna tie this now. So I'm just gonna tie off the thread. I know that this is gonna like move around um, after I tie this and cut it. Um, and that's fine, like we could just place it when we hang it up, we can just move the pom poms around a bit, you know, shorten it, tighten it, and do whatever we want to do. I don't even know where it's going to go yet, but um, oh, yes, I do <gasps> on my stair banister. I'm gonna put it on the stairs, um, and yeah, let's just cut that off in a second. But this is how the base is looking. Look at this, like it's this long. Hold on. <sighs> <gasps> Obviously you could do this in any colour that you want. I was going to do it in like candy corn colours and make a candy corn garland because a couple of years ago in home sets there was a candy corn one that I just wanted and never bought it because it was so expensive. It was like 20 quid and I was like I'm not spending 20 pounds on a pom pom garland but here I am spending about that making my own anyway but yeah neutral colours and this way you can add on the little ornaments. Um, that we want and like I said I'm going to use this for Christmas as well so be sure to be subscribed because I will be coming back and doing like um a, another little kind of DIY of for this making the ornaments and stuff for Christmas theme I already know what it's going to be um but yeah that's the pom-pom garland complete now time to make the ornaments so to make the specific ornaments that I want for the garland I'm actually going to be using this now you're probably thinking what is this um and trust me I'm not going to give it be able to get hold of this or whatever but this is just something I have an abundance of so every month when I get my prescription delivered from pharmacy to you they ship it in natural wool and they come in big sheets like this and for the past like six months I've had this white wool be delivered and I always end up saving it using it for other little bits giving it to other people to use and stuff but I figured I'm going to make some little pumpkins out of it. So I have already made like some of this sort of size. As you can see, it's fairly hefty and it's going to be a bit too big to use on a garland. But I thought I'm going to make some smaller ones today. Now, obviously, like I said, like everyone's not going to have this available. I understand that. I bet some people actually will. If you're a type 1 diabetic like me, have insulin delivered, then you're probably wrapped in this. If you have other medicines delivered or anything delivered that needs to be refrigerated and the company uses real like um, sustainable like items and stuff and like you know natural things like wool then you'll have them uh, but if not um something like an old wool jumper i've even done tutorials before where i've used socks to kind of give the same effect so i'll leave that tutorial down in the description but you really can just transfer this over to any material but i'm going to be using this one today just because like i said i have an abundance of it so the way that i'm going to turn this into a pumpkin so i've just cut off this kind of size sheet how big would you say this is round about 20 centimeters by say 10 I would say that's around about that and it's kind of like um a good like centimeter kind of thick the way that I've turned these into pumpkins before is I've just taken some cotton thread like so pop onto my needle this one here is quite a big chunky one again I would probably say around about eight centimeters that one is and I just kind of thread my cotton onto there and I just kind of like make it into like a ball to begin with now obviously this material here is quite hard to sew um but i'll just show you how i do that so just tie a knot in the end of the thread here 
And because of this here, like that will just go straight through, what you're going to want to do is just kind of pull it uh, like so, so that you have like a little opening at thread, you'll kind of needle through that little loop and it'll create like a little slip knot on there, then it's kind of secure. So what I do with this is I kind of like bundle it all up together so that I take like the opposite kind of corners, just thread it through, just so that it kind of makes a circle or like a ball. First of all, it looks kind of odd, like look at that. Looks kind of like a dumpling or whatever, um, but you just want to kind of keep going until all like kind of bundles up as a ball. Like I said, a wool jumper kind of give you the same effect if you're using 100% wool. Um, you may be able to buy wool sheets like this online, but I just really, really like the kind of um, texture it gives. Maybe even like a wool felt, which I think is probably why. I think this is going to suit the garland like felt balls so much. Just like the natural tones in it and yeah, natural textures and whatnot. You might want to. <laughs> I thought, what's the way we do a DIY where people can't actually get the supplies? But I'm sure there are some people out there. Maybe ask someone you know if they get these delivered. Like they might not know what to do with them. I've seen so many people like sell them and stuff on Facebook Marketplace for like pet bedding, that sort of stuff. But yeah, like I said, you just want to keep on sewing until you have like a ball shape. And this here is now coming together. I'm just kind of just going over and over and just sewing until it all gathers up. So in order to make the segments of the pumpkin, what you're going to want to do is take a needle and thread it right through the centre, like so. Pull it out and then you want to wrap it around half of the pumpkin and go right up through the centre again and right up so that we're creating kind of a loop around the pumpkin. As you can see here, the thread loop, ah, I'm just focus my camera instead of my face. I just want to pull tight and it'll create like kind of like a little butt <laughs> and you want to just keep going keeping that tension kind of really tight so you want to like move over around about an inch creating the nice little segment go up through the bottom up through the top pull tight up through the bottom up through the top pull tight and as you're kind of going making the new loops you do want to keep like making kind of like equal segments i'm doing it around about an inch or so and it also pulls all of the material kind of tighter together so that the pumpkin ends up even smaller, which is why I made the ball quite big. As you can see, it's kind of coming together a little bit there. Really, really liking this. Once you've got all the way around, you want to pull your thread tight and then just tie off like a knot in the center. Again, making sure all of that tension is still kept there and you know, all those segments are still nicely preserved. Just tie it off, a couple knots there and then a snip. So you want to just press it all into shape, like so, and that like, kind of creates like a little pumpkin, a little fuzzy pumpkin. I really, really love that. It kind of reminds me of like the White Company kind of like wool felt pumpkins, which obviously I really like. Um, to create the stems on the pumpkins, like on this one here, I just used um, a little bit of a a cinnamon stick and some super glue so just taking the super glue and just applying loads to the very bottom like so glue 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 and just sticking that into the center and there you want to hold it down for a few seconds just to make sure that it's really really set and maybe just like kind of squidge it all together so that the fibres kind of really grip around that cinnamon stick and it looks like it's coming out of the centre of the pumpkin. Go okay, see, so it just looks like a really little cute fuzzy pumpkin. I just love it. Yeah, the cinnamon stick in there is a really nice natural touch as well. So in order to add this to the garland, what I am going to be using is um, a paper clip. So I like to use paper clips just because they're kind of cute kind of already done as like a little loop. I've got these gold ones from um, a set which I got in Tesco actually. It was like um, a set of pins and paper clips and like um, little like bulldog clips. And what I'm just gonna do is stitch this into place. The reason that I'm stitching it instead of gluing it is just because um, if I decide to remove these little pumpkins later on, I don't wanna use them as garland, then I can just, you know, snip off the paper clip. And yeah, just snip the thread and I'm able to use them for another product. So just gonna slightly stitch on there with the loopy bit of the um, paper clip at the top. And once I've done that, I'll be able to use those little paper clips kind of as a little metal hook to hook in between the pom-poms on the garland. 
like I said, I'm stitching it just because I want to be able to have the freedom of being able to like cut the thread and then remove the paper clip at a later date if I wish to. But you don't have to, you can just glue it down into place. I know you're going to be keeping the pumpkins kind of for this trick. So now it's like a little pumpkin with a little hook on. I'm going to be able to add it to my garland. Now I do have some that I made earlier, like a little blue Peter moment. Like I spent a good hour off camera <laughs> between making the garland and I made all of these. They're slightly a little bit wet now because I feel like Roman's come along and licked them while a bit off camera. Um, but I made this many. <laughs> Look at them one, they're so cute. So what I'm able to do then is hang up the garland, take the little paper clip, let's spread this bit apart like so and just hook it on in between the balls see <gasps> and now we have little pumpkins on there so i'm able to do that spread them all evenly apart and they will look super adorable on my little garland and that is the end of today's video i hope you have enjoyed it so this is what the um kind of garland is looking like i'm absolutely loving it i've hooked it on just using some embroidery floss on the kind of second kind of arm of my banister on the stairs. I think it looks gorgeous. Little pumpkins hanging off. Some may argue that it really look like garlic once I made a white pumpkin um, garland. And it definitely did look a bit more garlicky than this one, but I really, really like it. But hey, garlic's quite Halloween-y as well, right? Um, like I said, I can remove those paper clips. So what I might do in like, you know, the next couple of years or so, just like snip them off, use them as bowl fillers, that sort of stuff. I don't know, we'll see. Just kind of, options are endless really aren't they i did find the card to that um ebay store that i said about they do have an etsy as well as a facebook and instagram and stuff but this is their card i found that in the um little bag there when i was cleaning up a second ago so yeah there's the card i'm sure i would have left that information all down in the description they're really nice i emailed them over to all my color choices and everything they're really kind of polite and really quick to get back the email so yeah highly recommend them um and yeah that, that's all i've got to say we'll be back in a couple more days because i do have a few more diys that i want to get up to um over the weekend so i'll be sure to share those i am also um kind of re um fixing redoing um salvaging my table and chairs which i actually use in my kitchen at the moment so you might see a video on that soon as well if i finally finish it um but yeah thank you so much for joining me today and i will see you very soon for another video bye <laughs> Are you coming to say bye? Are you coming to say bye? Yeah? Say bye! Bye! <laughs>